this year, we proudly present a true English tale of bravery, courage, true love, and an over-exuberance of exacting acting, adapted from the original 1986 script. Yes, for the first and definitely the last time, the true, unexpurgated oh, <laughs> version of Robin Hood and his Merry Men. Yay! I know you all enjoy the pantomime immensely, but I'm afraid this year's no expense spared production has a rather sad ending. Aww. So anybody who wants to leave, now's your chance. Oh. Now this has got to be adjusted to dick height and I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Nottinghamshire, wait for that, a right for ladity. Robin Hood and his men live there, father on air and night. With little John, who was seven foot nine, and Maid Marian, who gave all a good time. An old friar took, with whom nothing rhymes, Tim Father by the Well, for the few remaining hardened pantomime addicts, I'll set the scene. I'm part of it, obviously. Sorry? A fine old landed Saxon baron, Roger Gamewell, <laughs> is celebrating a momentous occasion with his guests sitting at a table. Oh. <laughs> 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 Lovely breasts. <laughs> Lovely breasts. <laughs> yes, and I'm only 16. <laughs> We're not sitting. Here we all are, well met and jolly good fellows. Brisk and bold brisk, what this lot? <coughs> Any road, a toast gentleman of England to the most beautiful amongst us. Oh. The lovely <laughs> Marion, <laughs> who celebrates a birthday. It's not hers, you understand, but we do like to celebrate. <laughs> Thank you, kind and gentle Sir Roger. Oh, it's a pleasure. But I do wish that good Robin of Loxley was safe here with us tonight. Just then, the sound of an approaching herd of horses is heard. by the dramatic entry of Robin of Loxley, his face aglow from his recent activities in the forest. <laughs> he rushes forward and kisses Marion's hand. And, it, and it clearly says hand. Here. <laughs> excuse me, Sir Roger, and dear Marion, forgive my late arrival. I was held up in the clearing. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Lord, these tights that did it. Oh, oh, didn't, by the looks of things. You're telling me about tights. <laughs> Come, Robin, raise your glass and share this draught. <clears throat> we really must get the double glazing people back. <laughs> and raises his glass. <laughs> <laughs> I'll join you with pleasure. <laughs> to Marion, the fairest creature, for many a more. More? <laughs> more? I don't know. With that, he bends a knee. Oh. Which is pushing his luck in those times. <laughs> and kisses her fond. On uh, her hand, actually. <laughs> now, Marion, what what about a little um um ditty? Um, oh, it's been typed very carefully. What a tune on your much loved melodica. <laughs> Marion, 
think I couldn't play this. Marion plays a tune, but is interrupted by a commotion from the rear. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid to say it's chorus interrupted. It's that damn Abadale again. She stops playing and looks puzzled. Gadzooks! Something is amiss, I am sure. Robin rises slowly, then stands up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you I thought you were just pleased to see me, Robin. <laughs> Please, Mr. B. Stand back! You don't know how big it gets. <laughs> <laughs> He goes to the entrance and peers into the dark. He is indeed. Where's the entrance? <laughs> <laughs> Where the dark is. I wouldn't stand there. <laughs> I think he's where you just came in from. That's better. Oh. <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have had that last pint. In rushes Will Scarlet. We'd like to make it clear at this point that this is his name, not his medical condition. <laughs> hey up. In Russia, he's not late. Hey up, Sir Roger, we are undone. Oh, the sorry about that. Sheriff oh, of Nittingham's men say looking for someone who is killing the king's deer. Oh, his deer what? <laughs> A large book. Oh. 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 That was the... Should have gone to Specsavers. <coughs> no, not a buck. I, I'll pass on that. The king will... Pass the buck. Oh, come on. Oh. <laughs> the king will be bollified. Or should that be Bolly. mortified? Does anyone here know about killing some deer? I cannot tell a lie. T'was in a moment of hunger. You see... I have grown so thin and weedy, I can hardly pull my bow. <laughs> no, that's an arrow. That's an arrow. Right. I just want to show you my bow before we carry on. Not that bow. I thought I was your bow. Watch out. <laughs> 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 so, I need sustenance before I wither away. <laughs> well, that's torn it. The sheriff's men are here without. What? Or, or without. Oh, without. <laughs> what we need here is some spiritual guidance. If only the good Friar Tuck was here with his brandy. You mean he's Randy? Randy. Randy. So. <laughs> He'd know what to do. There is a loud banging from without. <laughs> And sacred music heralds the arrival of Friar Tuck. <laughs> and sacred music heralds the very slow arrival of Friar Tuck. May the Lord be with you all. Oh, I see you've dined already. Perhaps I'll just have a modicum of wine. A modicum of wine? Oh, I'll a Jew. Be again. Now, what seems to be the matter? Will you move out of the script? <laughs> Robin? Yes? No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, my mind was on Anybody in? melodica. <laughs> well, blow me. <laughs> no! <laughs> Subtle Terry! <laughs> She blows my melodica. <laughs> <laughs> Not both of them. <laughs> come on, come on. Right, sorry. Well, it's like this, oh, holy one. Give me a shot, Joe. You, Kip. 
Oh, we no, got to that, yeah. All oh, right. <laughs> we're we're not two beating drones. We're up there. Really? Do you know where we are? I oh, know. I've got a clue. <laughs> but it's like this. Oh, oh. The sheriff keeps giving us all this medieval aggro, and to make matters mm. worse, I think I've laddered my tights again. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. I found a way of not doing that. I've had these on for three days now, <laughs> just in case my nails got stuck in them, you know. It's better when you don't talk, Marion. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say something wrong? No. Did you get it? No. Or was it worth writing this script? Don't swear, you're the flyer. <laughs> Briar's name was Tuck, and he didn't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't even help them in a fight. He wouldn't even hunt. The dirty rotten Friar. Friar's got a big am I in on this? There's only one answer. Yeah. You must abandon all pleasures Never. of the flesh. Never. Never. And in what? your case, Never. that's an awful lot of pleasure. <laughs> You must leave your loved ones and live a life of solitude and depravity. Oh, sorry, deprivation. <laughs> deprivation as well. You mean I should join UKIP? UKIP. 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 With no more ado, Robin bids a fond farewell and leaves. Hang <laughs> on. Adieu. Goodbye. No, she says. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Wait a bit. Let's try and keep some semblance of it. <laughs> and you, Sir Roger, I shall see you none. And my dear Marion. <laughs> and you, my heart's delight. You've always frightened me. <laughs> <laughs> I will return with when this evil scourge is deflated. Have you been drinking? <laughs> he exits with a flourish which is a kind of medieval sword. sword. <laughs> I don't want to do it. <laughs> Briar Tuck is left to console Marion. Do I have to? This is, the first, this is the first time in eight years he's had the consolation prize and he's very excited by it. I know. Come here, my little one. It's the other one, this little. Sit here. Sit here. Not every, just, a, just, a, just an aside, there's not everybody got. Happy 70th birthday tattooed on their boobs, are they? <laughs> 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 you in here. <laughs> and that's just the blokes. No. <laughs> Come here, mind, mind the little. shoulder, mind the shoulder. Oh no, mind the waist. No. <laughs> Come here, my little one. Hold this up, you Let me address your worries. Now then. You know that sometime a man's got to do what a man's got to do, which is why your good, look at me, I'm talking to you, Robin <laughs> of Loxley has had to go to the woods. So, is if there's something I can do for you, I will do it. Now I understand. That's the It's the way you... Oh, so you know no, you're not. I was right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. <laughs> Now I understand. It's all for yours, you might be better. I'm talking to you. I'm listening. Now I understand. It's the way you put it, Fry. You're so kind. I hope you'll be able to show me some of your other habits. Ooh. 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 Now, Marion, I'll tell you a little secret. I'm off too. Yeah. Mm. I bet you thought that was the drainage. I'll help Robbie and his little band, and I'll protect them from all evil. Peace to peace to Fry Tuck leaves, and poor Marion is all alone. Oh. Oh. Already done, by the time. But then, she is joined by her faithful friend, Lady Eleanor. Oh. <laughs> Who is also distressed. Oh, she come in looking at me. I am, I am distressed too. I just want someone to be kind to me. Which is a miss, Miss Eleanor, my dear. <laughs> a miss thing, dear? When was this? I have no idea. But enough of that. I was going to 
going to be married to Will Scarlet. And would you know it, he's gone to the woods with Gold, Robin of Loxley. Oh, I am so undone. <laughs> I know. We'll consult the goodly friar. He's got plenty of ideas, but he is so kind. Enter the goofy friar. The goodly friar. <laughs> His breath coming in short pants. <laughs> now, my little dears. Stead. Is that me? The comforts of both discreet. Oh. I know what to do. You should fuck. Um, you should follow Robin and Will to the woods. Can you take that out? <laughs> and lead a life of frugality. Get off! <laughs> With no home comforts and little or no entertainment. And no buzzes after six o'clock or the weekends. That's a bit like Lower Gorn or <laughs> They all exempt to more exciting music. Can you cheer? <laughs> Carrying chairs and table. <laughs> Robin is in a clearing surrounded by his followers. They have clearly had a sumptuous meal. Meal. Just then, some crackling is heard. Crackle, crackle. <laughs> is it a pork? Oh. <laughs> I'll take is that, that bike you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, ah, so, it's you! Is it, does that mean it's you? Did you just drop? <laughs> If I did, it'll be three days before you <laughs> Come and join my rubber band. Maybe that should be rubber band. Is that what I say? No. Any minute now, little John will be along, disguised as an idiot, which in his case is pretty easy. Just then, there is a loud rustling. Just then, there is a loud rustling. <laughs> <laughs> and as if by magic, little John appears from nowhere, which is just to the southeast of Birmingham. <laughs> Who goes there? Well, actually. I'm gone. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Who are you, you ugly ruffian? Yes, yes, yes. Well, actually, I've come to help, because I know all who said his plans. Come here, my good man, and tell me more. <coughs> Massive castle with his lovely, typically English wife. Come, <laughs> 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 Countess Marie. Oh, if I, I could only get my hands on that villain, Robin of Loxley, my dear. He keeps clinking, my dear, my dear. My dear, you're always wanting to get your hands on Robin. You're not at all patient. No, I'm not, but I'm short patient. I'm not a short patient either. I'm five foot seven. <laughs> in fact, I'm not even ill. But when I'm a patient patient, then all is well in the world. Enough of that. I know, why don't you send the sni a snivelling messenger disguised as a fem... A... <laughs> <laughs> Got fluffy in the mouth. Excuse me, excuse me, Sheriff. Why? By the way, hers are real. <laughs> I noticed. And they've got 70 tattooed. No. I, I, I risked the one I took. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Why don't you send that snivelly messenger disguised as a merry follower of Robin Robin? <laughs> Who the hell wrote this? <laughs> then we can find Robin's whereabouts and you can do the rest. What's a good idea, my dear? We can use that later in a Victorian melodrama. Call the snivelling messenger. Snivelling messenger? <laughs> who come mincing along. Oh. <laughs> suddenly has an idea. Is it a one idea? Oh. I've got an idea. Which one of you is the first butcher? Right. Will you take five guineas for all your meat and your clothes? Certainly not. I don't know where the calculator is. But. Hang on a sec while I get my purse out. I didn't have a bag. <laughs> Hang on. Where's my, where's my sword gone? I've <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm lost my sword. Easily <laughs> done. <laughs> Will you take my fine sword? <laughs> 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 My trusty bow! Now that's a short leave. My fine sword, my trusty bow, and all the gold in this purse. Uh, i got to think about this a minute. Uh, I haven't got any beads to count on because I didn't read the script properly. Uh, certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> How about this then? <laughs> you don't need to speak to Because you ain't got this prop either, I've just realised. <laughs> 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 Anybody got a spare parcel? She's got one. You're not taking this seriously. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's got a cleaver. Uh, I, has anyone got anything green? You've got a cleaver as well. You're wearing it. Not in these types. Mine's well, bigger than yours. <laughs> oh, 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 wrong way. <laughs> How about this then, my fine lover? <laughs> Why? 
Oh, another prop you forgot on as well. <laughs> it's a blow up green alien. Oh. <laughs> no, it's definitely in there somewhere. Just what we wanted. There it is. Oh, there. Oh, it's just, it's right. Yeah, it blows up when you blow it. Alright. <laughs> Bang! It's got flashing light on it. That will be very gratifying and satisfy He's our a needs. Posh butcher, isn't it? Let us swap it clothes without further ado. Hold on. Three butchers exchange clothes. Exchange clothes with Robin Little John and Troy. Listen, also I read the script. Oh. Three <laughs> butchers exchange clothes with Robin Little John and Troy. This should be worth watching. Oh my! My boobs. <laughs> Let me know what you've all exchanged. Robin, Little John and Friar Tuck arrive at the outside of the castle. They meet the guard, who is really the snivelling messenger. You, you can't get this stuff. Who is there? This is we three butchers from Audience Hall with the sheriff's meat. I'm inside. I fancy a little nibble myself. <laughs> they enter the sheriff's chamber where the sheriff is sitting with his wife. Am I frightened? Who was a butcher? Good trainers. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Sonic, what are again, you? Again. What does it look like, you dowsy wazard from Tuck? Not a what? You must have heard of Tuck, the magic dragon. Oh, oh. oh we all meet again. Oh, oh. oh just what I fancy now, spit of pork. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, kind butchers. <clears throat> ah! <laughs> <laughs> so you do want to meet me, do you? Well, your fish is finally fulfilled. Your fish is fulfilled. Right, you Robin ruffian. Lunges at Robin with a sword and catches him a fatal. Oh. 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 <laughs> Enter Marion and Lady Eleanor. Who is now the chef of Cherry of Nottingham White. White. And the other merry men. Don't get down because we do as well, but I'll be able to get back. I'm supporting Marion. Marion. Oh, sorry. Miss Prostrate. Oh, no. Not Robin, my hero. You wish to help him. I think Robin's end is nigh. Must be these times. Oh, Marion. Before I go, will you do me <laughs> one last thing? Go on, go on, go on. What in front of all these people? <laughs> Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today in the sight of these 
butchers <laughs> to join <laughs> together. <laughs> these, two, these two people in holy misogyny. <laughs> Will thou, Robin, Take this Marion to be your awfully wedding wife. <laughs> I wilt. Stood up. I wilt. And what about you, Marion? I wilt. <laughs> 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 oh, I nearly got to. Don't <laughs> oh. What about you, Marion? Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> After this rubbish, I think we all are. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. We're already on there. Friar Tuck kneels to support Robin. Oh, no, we don't. Oh. <laughs> and, together, <laughs> and together they sing. Shire with the letter a right for laddity, Robin Hood and his men live there. Father a letter a night with little John, who was seven foot nine, and made Marion who gave all a good time. An old friar took with whom nothing rhymes. <laughs> 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 